You know it also could be messing it up. What? Though. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, HD. No, I mean, I'll just start. I don't know you're going live. Go ahead. Yep, yep. All right. What's going on, guys? Uh, yeah, repeat back. Sorry about the little bit of a late entrance here. Uh, unfortunately, having a little bit of weather issues. Mother Nature is not being all that great to uh, to the, the northeast section of uh, North Carolina, about a half hour or so north of Raleigh. But, yeah, as you can see, we are back. It's uh, HD and me live from the booth. As we see so far, the 20th CGMX Rose got the lead over the 11 of Ingalls. And HD, uh, better late than never, huh? Yeah, you can say that. But, yeah, welcome back here, P. I know you're having technical difficulties down there. Almost the snow. Since this up here, I went off of work tomorrow. Just send about an inch or two. I'll get off for sure. But, yeah, you got CGMX Rose here in the 20 car. Of course, qualified. On pole, he's showing it yet again. You called it, I think, last race. I just didn't get pole the rest of the season. Nobody's beating him. Here he is out in first place. The 11, like you said, Ingall's running P2 to 13 of Rowdy, running P3 and running P4 is going to be that 48 of the Aviator. Yeah, I, Aviator, I tell you what, um, I was joking around a little bit earlier and he, uh, I'm just, just messing around. And, yeah, the Aviator's the lead. And, um, it, it, I said it kind of felt natural. I'll have to see what the uh, what that 48 is going to have tonight. Now, guys, I want to tell you all right now, uh, my power has been going in and out, so I apologize. If for some reason I lose it again, I don't know if I'll be able to get it back up. Please check out the streams of Carol. Check out the streams of Amor or Boehner. Uh, I'm not sure if Dohar is streaming or j -Pot, but please don't miss the race. It's going to be great. By all means, check these guys out and keep up with them. It's the it's uh, NNR's Coke 600, uh, long race, four stages tonight, first through third, and then of course the one for the for the victory. Um, my stream is kind of iffy, so we're gonna work our way through it the best we can. So HD, I, who you got for tonight? It's kind of hard not to go with the 20 car of CGMX Rose, but I'm actually gonna go with the 13 of Rowdy. He got it done in the all-star race, was able to pick up a win, racing it out against CGMX Rose. I think he gets it done again tonight. Yeah, it's absolutely very possible. Uh, Whiskey Ginger 55, thank you very much for the follow. Glad I could be there for, uh, for you to catch the stream tonight. If um, it goes down, I apologize. A little bit of... Uh, a little bit of snowy weather here in, in North Carolina tonight. Kind of kind of rare, but hey, uh, if it's going to happen on any night, rather it not be tonight. Because these guys are going to, if it's any, if tonight's race is anything like the All-Star race or the truck race or the Xfinity race was, it, you're in for a, a hell of a treat as the uh, the top five are actually side by side going down the backstretch. Yeah, they're two by two. You got the 11 of Ingalls down low. On that 20 car is CGMX Rose. There's that 48 of the Aviator on the inside of the 13 of Rowdy and a 42 of more Smoke sneaking into the picture as the 11 of Ingalls leads that lap time by. And here comes the 34 with a head of steam as well. They're three by, they're two by two, three rows deep, Pete. Yeah, I tell you what, the way the 11 looked as he was leading that pack with everybody else side by side, he was leading them like a boss. I tell you what, Ingalls looked pretty happy, pretty content out there. Got that clean air, got everybody behind him. But this this uh, this pack racing starting to pick up as we see the 34 starting to catch up with this little bit of a group here. And the 13 around it was able to get below that 11 car of Ingalls. He's now your race leader on the inside. He's got him cleared. Down in a turn one, so there's a battle for second and third place. He got that 48, battling it out with the 11 of Ingalls for second, and that looks like the 42 of Amore battling out third with CGMX Rose. That's that 34 of Stefanes and the 47 of Sledgehammer's in the group. We're going to go three wide here, Pete, coming out of four. Woo, three wide through three and four. We know how tight that corner already is for them to be able to do that. It was kind of reminiscent of the Xfinity Series the other night. Great job by those guys. Uh, but it looks like that little bit of contact kind of separated them. It'll be interesting to see how they uh, how they get back together again. But that actually relegated the 20th CGMX Rose that led the first few laps back to like sixth or seventh spot. Um, as uh, he's trying to track back down the 42, the the, uh, the 47 of um, of uh, oh help me out here, buddy. Sledgehammer, there we go. And then uh, the 11 of Ingalls, and yeah, man. But the, the, right now the the front two they're scooting away. Shadowlack, what's happening, man? 
Yeah, while those guys were going side by side back there, like you said, three wide coming out of turn four, two laps prior to where we are right now. That allowed the 13 of Rowdy and the 48 car of the Aviator spread it out just a bit. They got about a seven car length lead on that 34 of Stay Finesse. I think those guys are single filed right now. I think they realize where that as there's another swap for the lead up front. 48 of the Aviator to the race lead. Yeah, 48. The Aviator put that camo paint scheme up front tonight. And, uh, you know, I, I mentioned it earlier. I accidentally called him um, messing around during our during connection. It sounded pretty uh, pretty natural. I'm wondering if I might have been, a, been a, telling the future there, HD. <laughs> you might be. Aviator, you know, after last week, he had a good strong run. Car, if I'm not mistaken, he won. The week before this at Richmond Raceway. So he's got a couple wins under his belt this season so far. He's still showing why he's last year's champ. Leading laps here in the Coke 600. Yeah, leading laps. And, uh, I mean, the, uh, the the 13 of Rowdy, he, he's no slouch. Every week he comes prepared. And I tell you what, I mean, HD, I'm, I'm back here with the 47 and Sledgehammer again. He's got this whole group in front of him. And now he's like the middleman be time, uh, behind a uh, second pack that's actually being led around by the four of uh, a Natty Dread. So, I, man, it's, it's about to get really, really racy really fast. And while those guys were all two by two, a couple rows deep, I made a little bit of a clip earlier of that Talladega race from earlier uh, where they were like, two by two, 10 rows deep. It's kind of a mini version of that. Pretty damn cool. Yeah, you know, one of these mile and a half tracks, Charlotte being one of the easiest mile and a half tracks out here. It's actually a little bit of multi groove You can run on the outside and keep your momentum up. But these guys back here, I don't think they need to be worried about racing each other. They need to be worried about catching the 13 of Rowdy because he is swapped back to the race lead on that 48 of the Aviator. They have swapped a couple times here it was within the past seven laps. Aviator to get another good run through turns three and four. Yeah, Aviator's strong. I, I, I tell you, I don't know uh, how he does it. Or Well, then again, I take that back. He's, he's part of Team Amore, you know, Amore Racing. So he's, you know, that, that whole team is just very, very strong, very stout. Um, kind of working my way through the field here, kind of share the love just a little bit. I just caught up with the uh, with the mountain. Now I'm on the four of Natty Dread. You see the uh, the eight car is Smitty kind of saying he's going to be taking that eight car down pit road, I think, unless he's just kind of gathering it back up, maybe after getting loose. Uh, now I'm back with the, the 36 of Boehner, uh, rocking that black and red Exalta machine. 22 of J-Paws on pit road early. Nope, nope, he's moving around. So I thought he might have been an early retiree, but, man, kind of early for pits. I would assume so, and it looks like here comes possibly CJ Rose. Nah, he was just looking a little loose there down on backstretch, maybe trying to get some air to that front bumper. Maybe he's running a little bit hot. Actually, no, there he goes, going down pit road. He slowed up out of turn four. I'm not sure. If this is one of those tracks where they have to go down on the apron through turns three and four, but he did not do that. So it's going to be interesting to see if he gets an in-race penalty black flag. And here we are, Pete. I think green flag pit stops are without a doubt underway. It looks like Rowdy and the 48 of the Aviators coming in this time. Yeah, this is this is a little odd. When uh, when the more smoke called the, the Xfinity race with me, he said that in the cup cars you can pretty much do with – what you know do what you wanted with them uh they really didn't wear the right front like the xfinity cars did so i'm really surprised to see these guys uh pitting so early uh but then again you know what i was kind of late getting into the stream hey mr jacoby welcome good to see you um i'm gonna pull up the uh the other streams as i normally do of uh, carol and a more smoke uh week i i could be off on on the stream count i'm uh, i not 100 percent sure kind of got in here a little bit late due to uh, some adverse weather in my area. Uh, let's see what uh, what uh, lap count. It says they've got 30 to go, so they're, they're 20 laps in already, HD. Definitely didn't seem like it. And that's definitely a quick 20 laps, and if there's 30 laps to go in stage one, so that means there's at least one more green flag pit stop to happen here in the first stage of the Charlotte Coca-Cola 600. As we're looking at my current race leader, the 42 of a more smoke, he's coming down. 
I do not see anybody else staying out. We got about two more, three more cars coming out behind him. So I think green flag pit stops are complete. Yeah, uh, they're they're kind of cycling through right now. Um, Mama Bear, if you don't mind, can I get a, a quick audio check, please? Uh, this is all put together really, really fast after my power came back up. If you don't mind, I'd completely appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Tell me how me and your brother sound. Uh, let's see. There's a 40 of Outlaw. Yeah, they're uh, they're getting a bit spread out now. There's the uh, 37 of Pro Viper with the 38 just inside him. Uh, let's see. Not much. Man, they, we've got 20. Okay, so Shadowax says we sound good, HD. So we're uh, we're on a roll, sir. We always sound good, Pete. But as this <laughs> cycle through, Pete, through the green flag pit stops, first one of the night, and Rowdy here is going to retain the lead. He's still your race leader as we cycle through. He's got about a four to five car length lead on that 48 of the Aviator. So Aviator staying in P2. Right behind Aviator, though, is going to be that 20 car, the Young Gun. CGMX Rose running P3. He's about 10 car lengths behind him. Now behind CGMX Rose, we actually got a battle for fourth place brewing up right here. Trying to get up and find what it is. It looks like it might have been the 34, possibly a stay finesse. Moving up to fourth, still cycling through to get this car number. Yeah, I tell you what, uh, Boehner did a, a really nice piece earlier on uh, Twitter that he saved to a new YouTube account that he created going through all the different guys that have done really well so far or top 30 I think he did of the people that are showing a lot of strength in the the season two pro league qualifiers and there was a more smoke in there you had Boehner in there you had Stephen S which is what just made me think of that uh, you had um, CGMX Rose you had Stout Whiskey HD even though NNR is all about, you know, the, the presets or the, or the default, there are a lot of guys in here that are trying out for this pro league and I think have a really good shot at getting drafted. I think there's a lot of guys that are going to get drafted. CGMX Rose in that 20 car is one of them, I think, is sure doubt. More than likely going to get drafted into the next year's pro league. He's fast on every track he touches. I think he's going to have a good season in front of him. And like you said, man, I think there's easily going to be about three to four more that are going to get drafted in Dohar. Without a doubt, it's probably going to be one of them as well. Yeah, um, I actually just recently learned that Dohar does have a wheel. Um, I thought he was just a controller guy, but no, nope, he's, he's got a wheel, just doesn't really use it as much. Although in this year's Pro League, in order to race, in order to qualify for it, if you get drafted, You've got to have a wheel as we go through. John Fry, thanks for checking out the booth uh, or checking uh, checking out the stream tonight. Thank you very much for the uh, for the uh, uh, sound check. Papa Bear, good to see you. Mama Bear says that Ginger's messing it all up. I don't know. Uh, JCX, nah, Club, thanks for it. checking us out, sir. Yeah, and actually, Pete, up towards the front, we got a little battle brewing up here for the race league because that other young gun out here, the 48 of the Aviator, Running in P2, he was about five car lengths behind him, about three laps to go. Now he's right on Rowdy's bumper as they come through turns three and four down the front stretch. Yep, I actually just was able to get to him. I see, you see, whoa, a little bit of lag out of, out of Rowdy right there. Uh, but here goes the 48 underneath the 13. He's got that preferred line. He's going to be able to complete that pass through one and two. Wash back up towards the wall. 48 is going to have the preferred line go, now going into three and four. He should be able to take the lead at the completion of this lap. Yeah, and the 13s behind him lagging just a bit. That may have been by design, but here we are coming down the front stretch. 48 David is going to lead the lap that time by with these guys racing, though. You know that 20 car of CGMX Rose is loving what he sees, and the aviator's going to wash up the track there just a bit. Out of two, let's see what Rowdy does. Going out of back stretch into three. Yeah, Rowdy is completely pushing that 48 car all the way around the track. He was bumper lock going through the trial. He's bumper lock going down the straightaway. A little bit of space here in three and four. He's going to be all over those tailpipes again going through the trial. Yeah, I think he's cruising out just right now. He might know he's got a little bit of lag spikes that are going on. He does not want to ruin that 48 car, the Aviators race. Now right behind these guys, Rose is still sitting about 10 
Car lengths off of the front two pack leaders. Right behind Roses still looks like it's going to be down 11 a C. No, excuse me. It looks like the two, possibly a stout whiskey, working his way up inside the top five. No, yeah, nope, 34 in the 11. Stout whiskey is yep. not there. It's going to be the 11 of Ingalls and the 34 of Stay Finesse. Rounding out your top five. Now behind him is going to be the 42 of a more smoke. Yes, that was he's rocking that old uh, Rusty Wallace number two Miller Genuine draft throwback tonight. Car looks pretty sick under the lights. Yeah, he but. was up there with this pack with the 11 to 34. That's why I possibly thought of maybe it was Stout Whiskey. Not too sure what happened with him, though, because he fell off big time. He's actually running back here behind the one of God Power running just inside the top 10. Yep, you got uh, you got God Power, then you got the four of uh, Natty Dread, and then yep, there's that uh, there's that uh, beautiful two car of Stout. Stout was another one in that top 30 uh, list that Boehner uh, made up. Um, but man, these guys, I'm seeing a whole lot of tandem pushing here. HD, I'm not used to seeing that. We've been at so many short tracks here lately. It's uh, it's nice to be back at a, a big cookie cutter tri oval, you know. Uh, man, it's it's so nice to see the speed again. Yeah, I mean, like I said, Yamada has almost, you can call it a Daytona or a Talladega. I mean, these guys are going about full throttle all the way around this place. Looking towards the front. Rowdy was up high in turns one and two a moment ago. He's actually looking pretty high here in turns three and four, trying to get a huge run off down the front stretch. But, Pete, I think within the next couple of laps, I think we start to see some people come down. If you remember correctly, they got about 20 laps to their first run. They had 30 laps to go. I think they possibly split this thing in half. They don't run a full run. They run about 10 laps. They pit. They come down, and they're good to go to the end without pitting. Yeah, HD, I think you've got ESP, and I don't mean ESPN because the 22 of j just took it down pit road. He's going to try to do exactly what you said, split it right down the middle, and to Double check that. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the stream here of uh, the one and only Amore Smoke and see where he's set and see what kind of lap we got. And as he comes across the start finish line, he's telling me there are 15 laps to go. You tell me you didn't call that. Yeah, and I like that right there. Coming down right now, 15 to go. That gives you about five lap buffer, so your tires are going to last that much longer. If I'm these front guys, I think I come down to 13, the 48. The 48 actually may have came down. Nope, he's still there. The 20 of CGMX Rose actually came down that time by. So if I'm definitely these top two runners, you come down. You do not want to get caught in a situation where a caution comes out and you have to pit because you're going to find yourself way back in the pack. Yeah, you will find yourself tail in Charlie really fast. You don't want that. The track is too big. The the comp the, the competition is too strong. You, you don't want to have to you know try to work yourself uh, through all that traffic. Again, about 25, 26 cars on track tonight. You don't want to end up in the back. And they did exactly that. 13 around down pit road, followed by the 48 of the Aviator with great expertise as well. Aviator giving them plenty of room down on the inside so they both got good pit entries they should come out retaining the lead one two yep i just uh, landed right back on the 20th cgmx rose as he's exiting pit road keeping it below the yellow line just as the six of heated snowman's going to go up and pass him he's able to seamlessly blend back up on track uh jcx12 i just noticed you're in chat uh we're missing you on the track here but hope everything is all right Yeah, and here they are coming off the pit road right here to 13 and a 48. They came out side by side, but the 13 around is going to edge them out just a bit as they make their ways through turns one and two on the apron. Coming off down the back stretch, and there is that 20 car on CGMX Rose pitting one lap earlier. Going to take Woo! the race lead once this thing cycles through. He just dove that under the 13, made it stick. He's going to have that position off uh, off of four. He's going to try to hunt down this uh, the 38 of, of State Finesse. This could be a, a big move for, for the 20 if he's going to try to take max stage points. Yeah, he's got it now. He does got one lap less, a little bit of grip on them Goodyear tires. It shouldn't really affect him too much. Pete, what are you thinking? No, I don't. I don't think it will. I mean, 
like I was mentioning earlier, Amor Smoke told me during the uh, during the Xfinity race, you could do a lot more with the Cup cars than you could in the Xfinity. They didn't quite wear the same. So I think that that uh, that move by Rose that might just uh, take him all the way to the stage win. And if it does take him to the stage win, you know guys are studying that, especially the two right behind him. Now it's not all lost. They're right in his draft. They're going to be able to pull a good run here down the back stretch into turns three and four as Rowdy closes that gap up that much more. About two car lengths as they come off of turn four. Yeah, Rowdy and the, Rowdy and uh, the 48, the Aviator, really working together very, very well with the uh, the 20 of CGMX Rose right in front of him. These guys are all nose to tail. The 20's going to keep that car on the white line so nobody can get underneath them. They'll keep a pinch down also going through the, uh, through the trial but when they get there to make sure that 13 cannot sneak under them there. Here they go into three and four. 20 on the side, going to uh, du yeah, duck it down. There we go. <laughs> as quick as he can. <laughs> so they can't get underneath them. Woo, all kinds of action. I can't even talk tonight. <laughs> and yeah, with all that being... Thank you very much for the follow while we were offline. As you can see, this is the NNR uh, Cup Series uh, from uh, from Charlotte Motor Speedway running there, 600. We, we definitely appreciate you, sir. I would really call it a 6 and I'm going to call it a 300 because they're running 50% out here. But look at this, Pete. We got a switch up for P2 with laps winding down his stage number one. Again, at 20, CJ Max Rose out in front. The 48 now on P2 trying to put pressure on him with about 10 to go here. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually double check that just for you because I think we might even be a little bit less than that. The, the way that these guys are battling uh, really, really hard, you make – it kind of makes me think that they're even a little bit closer. Yeah, here they go, Pete, though, because the 48 oh. is down low. Clips the apron just a bit. And that's going to kill his momentum off of turn four. Coming down through the front stretch. And they're still going. We're still green. Yep, still green. The, the 20 really uh, left that door open right there. The 48, the aviator, just about had a huge push from the 13 of Rowdy to, to get under the 20. 20 was able to keep it shut down. Oh, 20 is going to duck down low. He does not want to take that line shallow. That's going to allow the 48 to get underneath him, and this might be the, the race for the, uh, for the stage. Yeah, as they come off a turn for the 48 car, the aviator, turn on line. Gets it. I think we're actually still green as they're coming around turns one and two. Yep. No clue what the lap count is. We need the tool. Yeah, well, we still need those tools. Uh, Carol just came across. We were way off HD. There are six laps left to, left to go. So uh, all the all the action that we're seeing in these top three, that's just that's their nature. They don't know any better. Yeah, with six to go. Now five to go is stage. One, we got a lap count as they run at 48 of the Aviator, 20 of CJ Max Rose, and a 13 of Rowdy. Now behind these guys is going to be the 11 of Ingalls running in P4. It looks like the two, a Stout Whiskey running P6 with the 34, a Steady Finesse running P5. I know that was backer, backwards, but that's just wing it up here. That's how I roll with Pete. Four to go as they cross the line. Yeah, four to go, Dirk Bike. Dirk Bike Dusty 16, thank you very much for the follow. This is the NNR Racing Community. Welcome to the stream. These guys don't know any other way to race than race hard. They mix it up all the time as the 20th CGMX Rose going to try to look underneath that 48. They're going to have to see who the 13 goes with. 13 thought about making it three wide but thought better of it. He's going to stick back up behind the 48, try to push him off the corner. 48's back on the gas, 13 right behind. 20th CGMX Rose, he's going to take that spot. He's going to take that lap. Yeah, that time by, he did take the lap with three to go in stage number one. They're side by side, coming through turns one and two. CGMX Rose with the slide job, coming down a backstretch. Aviator looking for the crossover. Actually, CGMX Rose right there playing a defensive position. He's going to stay low there. Aviator looking on the outside. Yep, maybe he's going to try to look the outside. 13 this time. He's going to stick with the 20 of CGMX Rose. So you're going to be able to put the 13 here in P2 just a sec. 48 is going to lose that spot. We're going to relinquish him back to P3. Yeah, Rowdy moving up to P2 with two to go. Coming through turns one and two. The battle up front for that all-important playoff point is heating up with Rowdy going to the outside. Coming through turns three and four. 
Yeah, I'll have to see if, if uh, the 48, the aviator uh, pays back uh, Rowdy for the favor, pushing him by the 20 as CGMX rose earlier. But nope, uh, it's all about the, the points. The 48 wants him. That's going to push 13 back. 48 pushing the 20 to the lead. Yeah, white flag in the air right now. CGMX Rose still out front, running the low line. Does Aviator have anything for him as they come off a of turn two? Single file down a back stretch. This one's going to be wild for the stage point. Oh, for the 20 had to block the 48 all the way into the inside line, almost to the apron. Kind of yeah, of, of, here of comes Rowdy down low. Side by side down the front stretch. Rowdy will pick up the playoff point. Woo! What a finish to that stage. Guys, what you just saw right there was amazing. I know there was a whole lot of action going on in the back, but what you just saw was three of NNR's best. Get after it, lap after lap. Way to race, way to race clean, way to push, way to draft. Man, uh, I, I tell you, Rowdy, I, he's one of those pro league hopefuls also. So is CGMX Rose. If this was any indication of what you're going to see in pro league season two, these guys, they deserve it. Wow. Whew. What an epic finish, man. You don't want anything better than that right there. No. End it in stage one. I mean, them guys were just going at it, swapping the lead back and forth. Rowdy had the last laugh in the end. And, yes, I picked him to win the race here at Charlotte to go back to back after winning the All-Star. Yeah, Mama Bear's in chat saying, whoop, Rowdy. Yeah. So, man, yeah, Shadow like I feel the same as you. Damn! <laughs> I don't know what to think of that. But CGMX Rose looks like he's going to have the point. He's going to take these guys to green as we rack and stack them back under the lights for the NN300 Rowdy the outside. The 11 of Ingalls, P3. 34 is Stay Finest in P4. 42 of more Smoke in P5. And I think that was the 48 of, uh, of the Aviator in P6. That's your top six. Not much has changed down the backstretch. Yeah, they're down a backstretch. Two by two by two as far as the eye can see. Coming through turns three and four. The 11 of Ingall is getting a good run on CGMX Rose. He's going to take the race lead. But here comes that 42 of a more smoke battling up on the inside, battling for second. Yeah, more smoke. He's going to have a fast car. Uh, this is this time last year is where more smoke really got hot. He won the All Star race and went on a tear, winning three in a row. Could he re could he repeat uh, this year? It looks like 20 of CDMX Rose got a little bit of door contact there, put him up in the wall between himself and the 35 of Dan the Lawman. As Dan's getting a big push from the one of God Power. Yeah, CJ Maxwell Rose fell way outside the top five as we got a current battle for the race lead at 42. Like you said, he went on a tear last year after winning this race. Here he is, a more smoke to the race lead. He's definitely not shy of this. He's used to this. If it's anything, one, two, three right now, 42, 11, and a 48 diving down on the inside and turns three and four. Yeah, tell you what, H HD, uh, more smoke pulled your power move as he took the 11 on the outside. He's going to he's gonna lead this lap. I think that's the first lap that the uh, the 42 of a more smoke has led tonight, and I don't see him letting go. He's actually already starting to put a little bit of distance on that 11 already. I don't think <laughs> there's just so much draft here at Charlotte Speedway. Look, here comes the 11 looking down low. Down in a turn threes. These guys are just going out. It. I know, Kobe, before, you know, you're having your little problems with the snow and everything that Charlotte's currently getting. He said this is going to be the best race of the year. And he was not lying. These guys are putting on a hell of a show out here tonight. Yeah, guys, again, I am getting a lot of snow here right out, you know, a little north of Raleigh. If for some reason my stream does happen to go down, please switch over check out the stream from carol check out the stream from j pop he's got it up check out the stream of a more smoke i know he's got it boehner's got his going on so uh, please by all means don't miss this it's going to be a phenomenal race right now we just saw the 11 of uh, of ingalls take the lead back as he stretches it out a little over the 34 is stay finessed and the 13 of rowdy yeah, he's got about a four-car length lead. He's looking at those guys go side-by-side side right behind him as someone touches that line. Bobbles this a bit. There's a wreck down the back stretch. There's one unlucky victim right there as he continues to go chug it along, but he's going to drop outside the top 20. Yeah, he's going to drop back. Unfortunately, he hit the wall and kind of sent him to the inside, but everybody else that was around him, quick moves, got around him, 
no caution. We're staying green. Yeah, we stay green. Now these guys are single fouled up, Pete. And oh my lordy, look at that run at the 34 stay finesse head right there. He's actually looking to the outside. Pete, we're three wide right now for the race leader with the 13 of Rowdy down low. Tell you what, this must be a very popular term for trying to go three wide. Uh, but they, they thought better of it. Here comes 13 to the lead. 11 of Ingalls, P2, 34 and 48, battling it out with the, uh, uh, who's that in that black car? Oh, uh, who is that? 36. That's a 36 of Boehner stretching, uh, flexing some muscle. Yeah, he's running up in here to the top five. It is a five car breakaway. After that little shake up in the middle of the pack, it separated them just a bit. They got about a 10 plus car length lead. This top five does. After that second pack, I see a blue car leading that. No really clue who that is. But top five right now, Pete, as they run, single file with the 13 of Rowdy. You're the current race leader. Yeah, and HD, I, I tell you what, we haven't used the words hornet's nest in quite a while, but behind the 11 of CG, of uh, Ingalls, rather, that is exactly what this is. I'm going to work my way back here just a little bit. I'll actually look from the uh, the front bumper of the, uh, the, the four of Natty Dredd. He's got a lock on the 22. The, uh, the eight of Smitty's back here. There is a whole group in front of this four car. He's got to hope he's able to navigate his way through all this with getting too messed up ducking and diving swerving back and forth man what oh, hd these guys are all over the place i can't keep up <laughs> there's just there's action all over the track right now i mean it's just chaos out here at charlotte without a doubt under the lights as well and pete as you're talking about the middle pack we got another battle for the race lead up front 13 around on the outside with the 11 of ingles down low Cross the start finish line that time by the 11 got him Yep, I'm back with the uh, uh, onboard 36 of Boehner. I see the 13 around to the outside, 48 of the Aviator right in front of him. But yeah, that uh, man, that that uh, 11 of, of uh, Ingalls, he, he's he's strong tonight. I'm almost, I'm wondering if he might be able to lock this up. But if he is, he's going to have to fight. I think right now, the the 48 and and the, the 13 are going to be the class in the field. Boehner with the way he is right now, he's kind of close. He might have been able to dial his car in with that with that little bit of a stage break right there. But, man, the uh, the top four, top five scooped away. I honestly don't even think you can call them that they had the best car. There's been so many lead changes tonight. There's been more lead changes tonight, and I think every race combined so far here. And in and our, I mean, everybody's lead. It's like Oprah, man. You lead a lap. You lead a lap. You lead a lap. <laughs> right now, it's the 40 of the Aviator leading the lap. I have no clue how many times these guys have switched positions for P1, but it's got to be through the roof. HD, Shadalak wants to know if you're related to Jeff Burton. You sound like him a lot, he says. Uh, who? No, I know who he is. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know who he is. All right. Uh, no, I'm not related to Jeff Burton, unless I am. And he wants to slide me a few bucks under the table. I'll greatly appreciate that. But here we are, Pete. We've got Rowdy down low underneath the 11 of Ingo's. Actually touched his door there just a bit. 11's going to be able to possibly prevail on the outside. Nope, Rowdy's still there. The 11 0 chopping the nose off down in the one. Yeah, the 11 definitely got uh, got Rowdy out of sorts. That allowed the 36 of Boehner to get on by. So move Boehner up to up to P3 as the 48 of the Aviator is going to put a, his first car one lap down. And that was actually the two cars. Stout Whisk going a lap down early. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. I don't know exactly what happened to Stout Whiskey. He was running inside the top 10. He's got a little bit of front end damage on that two Ford Mustang Miller machine. He's actually going to get his lap back. That may be by design. Pete, I think green flag pit stops are going to be happening here very, very soon. Yeah, I don't I don't doubt it. They they reset on lap 50. And once uh, the, I'll actually pull up the stream from Carroll right now, who happens to be running in P16. He's got a little bit of nose damage. Yep. Uh, Carroll just signaled that he's going to be uh, checking into pit road, come to the, uh, the attention of his crew here right now. So uh, trying to woe that thing up to 45 miles per hour. Carroll's on pit road with 33 laps to go. I know what happened to us that whiskey actually already went down pit road because he's currently driving away from that 48 car 
of the aviator. Now there is a huge gap between first and second place. Second currently is going to be the 36. Uh, Boehner running about there, getting a little bit of loosey-goosey that time by out of turn four. Yep, trying to catch back up with the uh, with our, our, our front group there. Uh, let's see, as the nine of Carroll's just now checking out of pit road. There's the 37 of Pro Viper working his way down the back stretch. The 24 of Coey that said this might be the best race of the of the season so far. And so far there's he man he wasn't uh, exaggerating at all. There's been action all over the track no matter whether it's the front pack middle pack or the last pack it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun it, it's it's been amazing i mean i'm just shocked like i said i'm still shocked about the amount of lead changes we had now i know aviators got that about seven car length lead it looks like rowdy's coming down apron he's gonna let these guys go to the top side so pete as this thing cycles through rowdy might regain the race lead as he's going to have at least one lap fresher tires in that 48. And I guarantee you, 48 seeing Rowdy go down, he's coming down this time. Yeah, right now, the uh, the 48, the Aviator is absolutely showing as the uh, the as the leader. Uh, what, he's not going to go down pit road this time. He's actually going to start his way down the back stretch. Uh, kind of following along with the, uh, with the 9 of Carroll as he's working his way under the 12 car of Knights. Right now, you've been watching the uh, the 20 of CGMX Rose fighting off the four of uh, Natty Dread, the 22 of J-Paw. As, uh, yeah, more and more cars are heading down pit road. Here's the, the 11 of Ingalls ducking in. Yeah, the 11 of Ingalls jumped in, but they actually made up a ton of time on that 48 car, the Aviator. Aviator was playing a little bit of safe. He had about a seven car length lead, so maybe he didn't want to push it too hard. But these guys are possibly... Going to come out nose to tail without a doubt a lot closer than what they did going in. Yeah, they're, they're going to absolutely have to. Uh, TBD18, not sure if you heard me earlier. Thank you very much for, for following the stream while we were offline. You're asking where the 8 car Smitty is. Well, here you go, bud. 8 uh, car Smitty's working his way down uh, pit road. If he makes his way into the uh, the booth for post-race interviews, you'll absolutely hear him thank Bass Pro and Dr. Pepper and everybody else. He's famous for it. But, yeah, 8 cars bringing his uh, – his, his machine down to the attention of his pit crew. Grab four brand new Goodyear Eagles, two cans of Sunoco race fuel. He should be working his way back out on track here in just a second. But uh, again, thank you very much for following NNR. Yeah, we thought Rowdy was actually going to regain the race lead once that thing cycled through. He actually lost a ton of positions. He's currently running behind the six car of Heated Snowman, running outside the top five, running in ninth place, we'll call it. Now there's that one car of God Power. The 11 of Ingalls dropped back to these guys as well. 36 of Boehner right in front of him towards the race lead up here at the front of the field. That's still your race leader is going to be the 48 of the Aviator. Yeah, 48 of the Aviator, he's, I think he's, uh, you know, the the eight, eight truck of Asbill was on rails. The uh, 98 of FNL Bowling in the Xfinity uh, race, he was on rails. I think uh, I think the 48, the the, the 20, the, the 13, the the 11, I, there's two, I, I can't call it yet. The, they've Too many people have showed a whole lot of muscle to include that 36 of Boehner. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I really do think it's anybody's race. I think it's going to come down to strategy. Strategy is going to be a huge call here, huge call here to get yourself in the right position at the end of this race when that checkered flag flies. Yeah, I know everybody wants to get stage points. Everybody wants that one playoff point. It is very very important, but outside of Daytona and Homestead, this may be one of the other top races of the season. And to get a Coca-Cola 600 under your belt in the 2020 season, NNR would be huge. Oh, yeah. I mean, you just think about it. Normally, in, in real life, this race is ran uh, Memorial Day. All the, the festivities at Charlotte Motor Speedway and everything else that goes on, what, you know, what that... The, the weekend means it's uh, it's always a, a a big race and it's the same as it is it, as it, it is there we go in NNR it is one of the crown jewel races yeah, man just like the Bristol night race we'll see later on 
Darlington we'll see later on. Daytona, we you know, the uh, the the eight of Smitty actually won that race. So there you go, T T D B eighteen. Uh, the guy that you're rooting for won the won the, the season kickoff at uh, the Motor Speedway. But man, um H H C these guys are not letting up. Uh, Lucky Dog two thousand two. Yeah, we're we're absolutely trying, but tell you what, me and H D we can keep this going all night long. The, the action that these guys are putting on the track, that's where it's all at. Oh, without a doubt now, it's a little little slow right now compared to the last stage. If we can get a lap count, that would be amazing. It's got to be about 24-ish, 27-ish to go in stage number two. But make sure to stay around because the fireworks are sure to fly once we start this baby up in the final stage. And it's definitely going to fly high in the air closing out this race. Yeah, you were right on target, HD. 22 laps to go from, from Carroll's stream. He's uh, running right around mid-pack. So pretty good race so far for Carroll. Checking out the uh, one car of NNRGP. Uh, group poop, as he said to call him, with the six of heated snowman right behind him. These guys are, are gotten a, a bit more spread out than they were earlier. The 20 of CGMX Rose right now is kind of all by himself going through three and four, coming to the... Uh, to the uh, uh, start finish line nobody in front of him nobody behind him I'm, I'm kind of curious if the 20 is trying a different strategy uh, so with there being 22 laps to go right Pete now this is going to be my calculation of my strategies that I would go with now I don't know for certain because I don't know exactly how many laps of fuel they had but 22 to go with these guys just coming down pit road I think I run this thing to empty I run it to empty and I take a two tire stop I think that's going to be the strategy to win stage number two and get good position to start that final stage. Yeah, uh, you, you got to try something different. I mean, we saw the, the the mini pack racing that was going on up front with between the 11, the <coughs> excuse me, the the 20, the 48, the 42, the 36. You got you got to make sure that you can keep your car clean, keep it green, uh, li as little damage as possible. That way at, at the end, because we're, we're less than halfway, and these guys were battling that hard. Maybe they taking a break, taking a little bit of a breather, getting it back under, uh, under wraps, racing the track for a while, and then uh, attack a little bit later on. Yeah, I mean, I like that. You know, it's 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 single filed out right now, Pete. You know, they're not really racing too hard. They're not using those tires up to the full because, like, cause of it, like we're all there's no one side by side currently, so everybody's actually saving just a bit. Now there is a side by side action here towards the middle of the pack, as it looks like the 47 is going to get by the one of God Power. Not really sure what position that is for. We're going to go ahead and call the top ten because that's where they've been running around all night long. But I think exactly what we're seeing develop is this two-tire pit stop strategy as the one of God Power actually comes down. Yeah, one of God Power is going to go ahead and take it down pit road. So I think you were right on target. Um, we, there were 22 laps to go. I think he's going to split this second half of the, of the stage right down the middle, come out with the fresh tire, try to make up as much track position as he can, and uh, really be there at the end, try to, try to max out on as many stage points as he can. Uh, Sullivan Silva, thank you very much for the follow, sir. This is, uh, this is NNR. If this is your first time with us, this is the best default racing community on Xbox, hands down. So far, we're about 80 laps into a 200-lap run. Caution-free. Best there is around. Welcome, sir. Yeah, welcome without a doubt. Let's go ahead and introduce ourselves as well. Can't forget about the booth. Possibly one of the two best broadcasters around with repeat. At repeat on Twitter as well as at HD underscore motorsports bringing you the call here tonight and pete we got a battle up here for third place 34 of stay finesse is up underneath that 13 around it. actually maybe it's not for third place not really a clue with no tool no position counter out here tonight but the two of stout whiskey making his presence known as well as he's going to get up underneath the 34 of stay finesse yeah. Yep, the two is Stout Whiskey's flexing a little muscle. 34 is State Finesse. Up high, here comes the 13 of Rowdy. He's going to try maybe the outside. And 34 is going to come up just a little bit to block. 34 is going to have the preferred line going into one and two. 13 close behind. We see the six car heated snowman just now coming out of the pits. Actually, uh, nope, that might have been the 20 right there. Not 100% sure. These guys went flashing by in a, in a bolt. 
Let's see, 34, 13, two cars actually pulling away just a little bit. Here comes a 36 of Boehner down pit road. The, uh, the rest of these guys are going to complete their green flag pit stops. Yeah, and a 48 aviator is right in front of that 36 car of Boehner. Boehner yet again able to make up a ton of ground on pit injury, but I think pit entry, excuse me, I cannot talk tonight either. Yeah, the aviator, I think he's playing a little bit of safe. I think he knows he's more than likely got this stage in his right front pocket. He's just got to keep it clean. Yeah, uh, more and more guys uh, going down and then, you know, coming off pit road. As you see them uh, stay down low on that apron, which is the way NNR does it. They get on the apron going into three, come all the way around through three and four, which we all know is really tricky. These aprons are really, really slick. And then coming out of pit road, stay on the apron merge onto the back stretch. That's, that's just the way we do. That's how we do it here, and I think it's the best way to do it. Coming off down the back stretch, still running one and two as this thing cycles through. It should be the 48 now. Boehner, like we said before, he definitely picked up a lot of time to that 48 car of the a -Bater running about six to seven car lengths behind him, but Pete, you know as well as I do, he very well could be in his draft. Yeah, uh, draft is huge, especially here at uh, at Charlotte. Um, come on, stay up. There we go. Um, so, okay, there we go. Uh, no, so my OBS was flicking a little bit. Guys, I, I again, I apologize. If for any reason my stream goes down, I'm getting a bit of snow outside, um, please switch over to the to the stream of Carol, the, the stream of J-Pa, stream of Amore Smoke, um, all on Twitter or Boehner's on, on uh, Mixer. They'll be sure to carry you through. I'm going to try to stay here as long as my power holds up. It's gone out about three times before this kicked off. But, yo, no name underscore racing is on Twitter. NNRleague.com is all about, uh, you know, where you can find information on your favorite driver. You want to rep the uh, rep the uh, the community. There's pillows there. There's T-shirts there. There's mugs, uh, golf balls, playing cards. Anything you could possibly want to show your NNR pride um, is all on the store. Please, you know, check it out. Follow us on Twitter. We'll follow you back. Uh, we're going to, we're going to, Keep going here, HD. Yeah, Pete, there's so much fire up here in the booth. We're going to keep the snow away for a long time. I'm not necessarily talking about the fact that I'm a ginger. That's just how great we're doing <laughs> calling this race out here tonight for the Coca-Cola 300 and in our style with laps. One and down in stage number two. Still, your race leader is going to be the 40 of the Aviator. Yeah, 48 of the is still uh, keeping these guys at bay. Uh, meanwhile, a little bit further in the pack, there's a little bit of a battle here between the 22 with J-Paw up high and the six car of Heated Snowman down low. J-Paw Army is always strong in NNR. Uh, the uh, six car Heated Snowman is going to win over that battle. Yeah, it was the snowman right in front of him, about a car length in front of him. J-Paul actually trying to fight his way back there just a bit. I think six car, he, he actually touches the wall just a bit. Come out of turn four down the front stretch. That's going to allow that 22 to get to his bumper. Thought about looking low down in turn one, but thought better of it. Yeah, decided not to not to do it just now. But I tell you what, if that was the last lap, that would have been a no-brainer. Uh, let's uh, check back a little bit for a little bit further in the uh, field. There's the uh, the 88 of Dohar bringing it under the uh, the 19 of Striker. Now I want to give a big shout out to Striker as well. If you were here on Saturday night for our All Star race, the uh, uh, the 13 of Rowdy put it in victory lane, but the 42 of Amore Smoke won himself a Thrustmaster TMX Pro racing wheel. Uh, that's going to come in handy as uh, as he makes every attempt to make the the, uh, the second season of the Pro League. So again, big shout out to the 19 of Striker for uh, awarding Amore Smoke as on behalf of uh, Kepner Brothers Trucking. Guys, if you're up in the Indiana area and you need some sand, some gravel, some dirt, some anything moved, look up uh, Kep uh, Kepner Brothers uh, Trucking, K-E-P-N-E-R Brothers Trucking. I'm sure you'd be have, uh, glad to have your business. It's uh, all over great reviews on Better, Bus uh, Better Business Bureau. There we go. Uh, a lot of contacts here in NNR. Yeah, a lot of contacts out here on the track tonight because Dohar, man, 
making his way up through the field, was able to get by the 19 of Stryker as well as the 8 of Smitty. About four laps to go. Now he's knocking on the door of the 24 car of Coey. He just got by the 17 on the inside. 88 of Dohar making his way up through the field. You know what? While we're back here still talking about you know uh, Dohar and, and the, uh, the 24 of Coey, that 17 HD, we saw him, uh, Sully, uh, have a great battle with the 42 of Amore Smoke for like 90, 95 laps. That guy earned lots of instant NNR credibility. That race kept it clean, kept it green, raced everybody with the utmost respect, earned a lot of it back. Great to see Sully already in a cup ride. And he's proved it. I mean, I didn't know who he was before last week's All-Star race. And he really was like, dang, who is this guy? Who is Sully? The only Sully I know is from Monster, Inc. And I guarantee you he can't drive this good <laughs> as Sully out here on track is putting on a show. Now he's kind of realizing he's made up to the Cup Series. It's a little bit more challenging to get those race wins. But without a doubt, having a good run, running inside the top 15. Yeah, it's going to be interesting really interesting to see what Sully's going to be able to do with the uh, with the rest of the season. He's going to stay running the Xfinity Series, going to uh, obviously now run run the Cup Series. Uh, Coey was instantly impressed with uh, the way he is and the way he carries himself, not only on the track but off as well. It's going to be uh, it's going to be great to see the 17 and uh, see how strong he gets as the season goes on. And laps are winding down, Pete. We got to be about single digit by now for that. I mean, what, four, five? I Three, would two, imagine. One. White flag. Uh, yeah, oh, let's not see. Not that time by. Yeah, still waiting. It looks like uh, Carroll right now is going down the back stretch. Whole lot of action going on right here in front of the 24 of Coey. 19 up into the wall. They were three wide between the 22, the 88, and the 19. Carroll's coming off turn four right now, and it looks like we are knocking on right around. One lap to go in stage two. You called it. God, you're on fire tonight. I'm always on fire. I got a redhead. <laughs> God, God. Oh, I'm going to miss you when you go, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah, one lap to go. And that was it. So stage two is in the books. Uh, looks like. 15th was so Sully having a pretty good uh, pretty good start. He's running right around mid pack. 15th, J Pa was 12th. Striker uh, 13th. Snowman 14th. Sully 15th. CGMX Row 16th. Uh, Knights in 18th. Stout Whiskey 19th. Uh, see 20th was Viper. 21st was Natty Dread. Uh, 22nd was Outlaw. Uh, that's about as far as Carol's stream is gonna go. I'm actually, while we're under this break, I'm going to go ahead and pull up a more speed. That way I got a little bit more as we go on. All right, yeah, HD. Here we are. Yep, about to go green yet again. Your current race leader in the final stage is going to be that 48 car of the Aviator, the 11 of Ingalls. On the outside of him, running a P3 is going to be the 36 of Boehner with a good run tonight here at Charlotte Speedway for the Coke 300. Running in P4, running in P5 on the outside is going to be the 34 of Stay Finesse, but I don't think he's going to stay there for long because the 13 of Rowdy is down low. And Pete, we've known all night that inside line, yes, the outside line is a little bit present. But the inside line is dominant, and I am wrong, and this is why I just wing it, because the 34 slides down in front of Boehner, and Woo! sliding by the 11 of Ingalls, and they're going three wide down the front stretch. Yeah, three wide down the front stretch, and the 13 of, of uh, wow, was called, uh, that would not have been good, calling those two frenemies uh, by each other's names. But the uh, 13 of Rowdy was able to make his way by the 11 of Ingalls as well. The 11 just got used up coming off the corner. He's got a lot of positions to make back up. He's going to try to keep it you know, in the gas coming off three and four. Whole lot of traffic to uh, work his way back through again. Yeah, but, you know, the 11 of Ingalls has got a strong car. He's going to be able to get it done. There is a lot of laps. They go here in the final stage, if I'm not mistaken, probably a little bit over 100 or around the 80 mark. I have no clue. All I know is we started with 200. Don't ask me what the stages are. 
because we have no clue up here in the booth. Pete might, though. But, yeah, current race <laughs> leader is going to be the 48 of the Aviator, followed by that 34 car of Stay Finesse. 36 of Banner running a P3. John Power up the P4. And a 13 of Rowdy is going to run out of that top five. And there's a little bit of gap between Rowdy and six. Yeah, between Rowdy and six. And talking about the stages, HD, uh, usually the Coke 600 is broken up into four. Well, it's all the same here. The bro they broke up the stages in 50 uh, per uh, per stage. So we're running 200 laps, 50 a clip. It, yeah, these guys, um, it's it's pretty much going to be two pit stops per cycle. The the if or the when, though, is really the, the question when they're going to take it down pit road. Are they going to do it uh, earlier in the stage and then cut it real quick? real short in the, uh, in the in the second half or do they run it out and then maybe do like a, a, a 15 and 15 so these guys have had all different pitch strategies all night I don't expect anything different here at the start of stage three well if we're gonna go with pitch strategies I'm going with the 48 pit strategy on that last run in stage two I was unaware that it's four I have no clue I just went but yeah 50 50 50 so basically this first two 50 lap pit stop green flag runs by the way not even a single caution with contact out on track with 25 plus cars with a 13 around he going down low in turns three and four looking to pick up second but I think these guys have got to know now, use those first two stages, which I think they did as a test session, a test strategy. We saw Rhodes go to the back of the pack, actually running 16th place. So he's going to throw whatever he did that second stage out the window. He is not going to do that again. He's going to try and work his way up to the pack. You know, I tell you what, we saw the, the 48, the 13, the 11, the, the, the 20, and all these guys up front and up front often. Well, don't look uh, too too far. Here comes the one of God power. Uh, he's going to uh, flex himself all the way up to P right now. That put the 34 is safe finesse back to about P5 or P6. He's fighting side by side right now with uh, with the 88 of Dohar. Yeah, and 13 of Rowdy's actually going to move up to P2. He was running in P5 once this thing fired off. He's worked his way up to second. And, Pete, you said it. You think the best cars tonight, the 48 of the Aviator, 13 of Rowdy. Well, they're currently running nose to tail. And last time they were like this, the racing was phenomenal. They were switching leads about every three laps. You know Rowdy is not content. And following as a one of God power with a good run off of four right on Rowdy's bumper. Yeah, right on Rowdy's bumper, right behind these two. You got the 36 of Boehner and the double O of Augustus. Augustus, another one, been really, really strong since being brought up to Cup. No slouch. He's up there every week. Another one uh, that just was uh, was picked up by uh, more racing when the 13 of Rowdy went over to Dirty Air Motorsports. So, man, um, the, you can always tell uh, – who puts in the time when they come here they're not loose off the corner they've prepared for every possible scenario with all their practice throughout the week that some guys ran the uh, the truck race some guys ran the xfinity race all the all-stars ran the all-star race which i mean charlotte has played a as a phenomenal host all this week but i tell you what next week's michigan that we're going to see a whole lot of draft uh draft racing then I cannot wait for Michigan. I love it. It's going to be wide open. It's going to be insane. The draft pools that these guys are going to get, they're going to be going well over 200 miles per hour down in the turns one and three, and that is wicked fast in the default setup. And, Pete, here we go. Battle for the race lead with the 13 of Rowdy through turns three and four. Off of it, down the front stretch. Rowdy back to the race lead. Yeah, Rowdy back to the pit, uh, rack, bleh, back. I can't talk tonight. Back to the race lead with the uh, with the one of God power really close in tow. 36 of Boehner giving him a big shove, keeping the 48 of the Aviator kind of pinched up high. The uh, double O of Augustus, I'm sure once he sees all this going on, he's also going to try to get down to that low line and push the, uh, push the 48 on by Augustus. This time, he's the one that's going to be pinched up high. 13, 1, 48, double O, 36, top five. And Augustus again methodically working his way up towards the top five. We see it week in, week out. Now Sully has something to go by because he knows it can be done. Augustus was one of the drivers that got bounced up from the Xfinity Series here in NNR. Broadcasted on Monday night by yours truly, repeat, 
up there. Don't forget Sunday night, the truck series as well. But Augustus showing why he is top contender here in a cup series running in fifth. Yeah, Augustus, uh, I, I, I mentioned it before, and I, it's it's like a you know beating a drum. But uh, every, I, I got a chance to race against him last year. Oh, what is a spin oh, here? Two wreck in times the one and two. The lap car of that off, I'm not mistaken. This yep. should bring out the first caution of the night, and it is out. What a mess that was. Not really sure what was going on. I think he was trying to get out of the way, got loose on the apron, spun back up on a track, and ended a couple of people's nights, or at least in stage number three. Ooh. It's going to be a wild one to finish this off. Yeah, that 40 of Outlaw was bouncing around the track after making contact. Like you said, I wasn't right there to see exactly what happened. I was I was following the um, uh, the, the one car of God Power and the 36 of Boehner around, and just all of a sudden, chaos broke out. So, uh, yeah, first caution in 120 laps, we'll say. But this is going to make it easy for the guys. I'm going to say there's probably about 30 laps to go here in stage three. I'll double check with the uh, with the stream of the 42 or more smoke as uh, he's going to get ready to, to, to bring it back green for us. And let's yep, see. Green flags back in the air with the yep. 13 of Rowdy. Your current race leader on the outside of Rowdy running in P2 is going to be the 36 of Manor. Running in P3 is going to be the 88 of Dohar making his way in a top. Five running on Rowdy's bumper, and Pete, you know as well as I do, there is no love lost between him and the 13 as they go side by side down to the turns three and four. Yeah, no love lost at all between these two right now. Rowdy is keeping him pinched down. 88 definitely wants to be able to get up off the uh, the corner a little bit better than that, get back in the throttle, and we know that turn three and four are really really tight. Eight's gonna. Make sure he's got enough room. Keep it pinched down as much as he can. Trying to avoid door contact, door contact with the 13. Don't need any excuses for any kind of retaliation. These guys are at each other's throats enough. The one car, God power, though. He's going to push the 88 clear of the 13. 88 to the lead. He had a one and God power was the biggest difference that time by. And actually, Dohar was not able to clear Rowdy as they come across the start finish line that time by Dohar by a nose as they are still battling it out side by side by side. Three rows deep coming out of back stretch. Yeah, the uh, 13's got a big shove here by the 20 of CGMX Rose. Behind CGMX Rose, it's the 11 of Ingalls. Behind the 88, you got the one of Dohar behind, I'm sorry, the one of God Power. Behind the one of God Power, you got the 48 of, uh, of the Aviator. Behind the Aviator, you've got the 36 of Boehner. So all cars that have been up front all night long are right here again in this front pack. Side by side, yeah. though, the 13 and the 88. Man, they're still side by side. I don't think Dohar has quite the car. I don't think it's loose enough to get by that 13 of Rowdy on the inside. But look who finally decided to show up to the party. It's that number 20 car, a CGMX Rose on the outside, running in P4. HD, this, this front pack, they're not letting go. The, the whole earlier when we saw this happen, you saw like five or six cars break away and they were gone. Oh, Not there's going to be a big wreck peak, I think. Coming in the middle is one and two. There's a car sideways. Yeah. Someone's up in the air. That should bring the second caution of the night out. You knew it was going to happen. These guys were going at it. They were side by side about four rows deep. I think the aviator got pinched down below that apron had nowhere to go but up the track and it's just a self-cleaning episode from there big one in turns one and two yeah and i think at the point of contact the 13 of rowdy had the uh had the the lead over dohar so dohar will fall back to p2 and we'll have to see how they rack and stack but i'll tell you what these uh th these guys they've been hungry they know that it's you know their longest race of the season one of the crown jewels again they want they want to you know hoist that cup at the end they want to say they won the the uh the uh, the nnr 300 man ah so much so much at stake here yeah and dohar is actually gonna get your race lead after that pit stop cycle i think they all got four tires some gas i think they're gonna be good to go to the end dohar your race lead on the outside of him is going to be the 13 of Rowdy. There's no difference right there. Rowdy's going to slide down 
in front of that young gun, CGMX Rose, as they go single file out, five cars deep. Yeah, I'm actually out sitting on the hood view here of the uh, the, the 20th CGMX Rose, giving that 13 a rowdy, a big shove, big shot down the back stretch. That's going to push the 13 right up to the 88th bumper. 88's going to be strong through the uh, through turns three and four on these four fresh feel goods. Uh, it looks like the 88 is going to be able to lead this lap. Yeah, 88 of Dohar out in front, but you know Rowdy does not want to be here. He's going to be looking low, I think, down at turns three and four. He's trying to build up that draft off of turn two. CJMX Rose looks to be riding. Here comes Rowdy coming down the back. Sure, it's going to ride right behind Dohar. Though. What a god power shooting the gap, moving up to third. Rose back to fourth. Yeah, the one of God Power completely drove that car right under the 20 of CGMX Rose. That allowed the 35 of Dan, the lawn man now, to move his way up to P4. The two is Stout Whiskey making a big rebound right behind him is the 22 of J-Paw. Yeah, 22 of J-Paw working his way up just outside that top five, running behind Stout Whiskey. Give you a quick rundown. 88 of Dohar, 13, Rowdy, one of God Power, 20 of CGMX Rose. Followed by, it looks to be, who is that running right there? It's that 35 of Dan, the long man, putting in work tonight. You see all that tire tread through the grass. He's going to be cussing at a few people saying, man, that <laughs> takes a lot of work to get that done. Running in P6, those are going to be the two of Stout Whiskey, followed by, again, Jake Paul Army, that 2-2. Two -two. Yep, right behind j Pi, you got the 48 of the Aviator, and then a big break back to, I think, about the 37, I want to say. It's kind of what the colors are looking like for uh, for um, uh, Pro Viper, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, now, guys, I, I, I want to just give a, a little bit of a break. My power's flickering a little bit, so again, if I lose, if I if the stream goes dark, uh, please switch over to the streams of either the nine of Carol, the the 36 of Boehner, the uh, the 88 of Dohar if he if he's broadcasting, um, the the 42 of Amore Smoke. Um, and, but to answer John Fry, yes sir, there are four stages tonight, 50 laps a clip to complete all 200 laps uh, to make up the uh, the NNR Coke 300. Yeah, and God Powder is actually going to move up the P2. Rowdy on the outsides in trouble, losing a few spots. 35 of Daniel Allman looking low. Down on a turn three, and Dohar getting wicked tight. Not really sure what happened, but new race leader here. First time tonight, caught his name out in front. It's going to be the one of God Power. Yeah, one of God Power finally flexing the ult. Flexing some muscle. I've been wondering where this guy's been all season. And just as Q Dog checks into the party, Q Dog, here's your 22. Running right now, right around P4 behind the 35 of Dan the Lawn Man and the 13 of Rowdy. The 22's been pretty up and pretty quick. He was saying earlier, though, that his car was slow. I'm almost wondering if he might have been telling a little lie, not wanting everybody else to know what he's got, but 22 showing a lot of muscle right now. Yeah, he's currently running in P4, running in P2, though. It's going to be that 13 of Rowdy, 35 of Dan Alon, man. We haven't really called his name a while here in this season, but here he is showing up here at Charlotte Motor Speedway, running in third place. That's going to be a good run for him. Again, J. Paul running in P4, followed by that 88 of Dohar, rounding out your top five. But, Pete, we're starting to see a little bit of separation in the top three. Yeah, it looks like the Aviator just completely rooted the uh, the 88 of Dohar, made the 88 of, uh, move up to that high line. That he, he, Now the, uh, the 48 is going to get right to that 22's bumper. Here comes the two-car Stout Whiskey. He's going to look underneath that 48, try to take that low line. Yeah, Stout Whiskey looking low underneath that 48 car of the Aviator. He's going to get underneath that 22 car uh, J-Paul as well. J-Paul getting wicked tight. At a turn four, able to keep it out of the wall. So move that two car up the P4. 48 of the aviator up the P5. J Paul drops back to P6. Running at P7 is going to be the 88 of Dohar. And P8 is going to be the 42 of uh, more Smoke. Yeah, more Smoke is the one I was looking at earlier. Was it the 37 of Pro Viper? I. Uh, I uh, more smokes running some lighter colors than what he normally runs. He's been running that dark green clover car as it looks like uh, green flag pit stops are underway. 
Yeah, green flag pit stops are underway here in stage number three. Pete, now it begs to differ. You see that one guy dip off. Are you going with? And if you are, this is going to be chaos to watch because there's a huge pack looks to be possibly to be pitting together. Yeah, um, I'm actually watching right now the, uh, the the nine car of Carol, uh, not on stream, just I'm still with the 48 on stream, uh, just keeping up with Carol as far as laps go. And it looks like he is coming across the start finish line with 11 laps to go in stage three. With that being said, Pete, I think it's going to be a two tire stop strategy to the end of the stage. Now, who practiced that and who didn't? This could make it could break as we come through turns three and four. We still got a lot of cars together, not wanting to come down. No, I tell you what, if all these guys feel they need to come down at once, we will have a wreck on pit road. There's no way at all you're going to fit six wide at the entrance of pit road. Something's going to have to give. Someone's going to have to take, and uh, whoever is smart and maybe decides to stay out one extra lap, they might avoid the chaos, and it could put them up towards the front if that caution does come out. Yeah, the 48 Aviator is actually going to come down this time by. He's going to be the one. And he actually pitted by himself, so that can benefit him without a doubt. No one to worry about. It was just him. Now getting back up in this huge pack. The Nina Carroll is up in this pack as well. I think he just came off a of pit road, though. He's yep. got his fresh tires on. He's getting loose. He might have went with that two-tire stop strategy. Yeah, because he's on these new tires, he should be able to make quick work of the 22 of J-Pa and the 34 of State Finesse right behind him. The 11 of Ingalls going to come up behind that nine, maybe give him a bit of a shove going down into 188. And the other uh, uh, 35, uh, nope, that's the, who is that? That's double O of Augustus behind that pack. Yeah, pack is starting to thin out here. Trying to get to your race leader. I think the one of God Power has yet to pit. Running right here is a 13 of Rowdy. Not really too sure what happened to him. Yep, God Power's actually got a commanding lead on these guys. About 15 to 20 car lengths. Yep, trying to find the other uh, one of God Power right now. It's great to see this guy up front leading laps. And not only leading, but he, like you said, he's pulled away from, from the rest of the pack. It could have been because they were all running two and sometimes three wide. Or it could just be that he's got his car just where he wants it. You know, with these guys running as long as they are, they got to be about seven laps to go in stage number three. Pete, can they make it? You know what? I'm actually, I'm back on Carol's stream, and he is showing in P3 with the, the two cars, Stout Whiskey, right there with him. Carol, like you said, he just came out of the pits. He should be able to make it until the end of the stage, so Carol could really, could really be in a great spot to uh, get max points. That's definitely a good stage in right there for that nine car, the Carol. Carol is actually looking to the outside of that two car, a stout whiskey. Now the 11 thing I was finally able to make his way up into that top five. He's down low passing Carol in the turns one and two. J. Paul Army going wild because he's still running in the top five. Yep, I'm back uh, back up here with the one car of God Power. And yeah, uh, he's got about... Uh, boy. Uh, well, he, he's he's definitely got got some time over the uh, over the the two car stout whiskey. As uh, let me get back here because the nine of Carol was just un able to make his way under the two car and put, put Ingalls in P two, Carol P three, two car stout whiskey in P four. We're closing in on the end of the stage. Trying to find up. Yeah, and these guys are actually coming down pit road right now. They're all singling that they're coming down. Looks like the 19 of Strikers checking up. The 11 of Ingalls is checking up. 9 of Carroll is checking up. 22, J. Paul. And they're all able. Actually, the one of God Power lost a position. Yeah, yeah Carroll just came down pit road. His it's, That's kind of odd. His, his light came on and he hit the pits. Uh, but they've got four laps to go. He would not have been able to stretch that out. Yeah, this is going to be a gas and go situation. A little contact there between that nine car and a 40. I don't think that's going to cause anything. Get the gas in the car. Go. No tires is needed. Unless, Pete, 
you're playing a strategy. You're trying to get yourself the lead once the caution flies. Do you take tires or are you going for stage points? I, I t uh, looks like Carroll got caught speeding. I'm guessing that contact you uh, talked about between him and the 40. Uh, the 40 gave him a pretty good shot just as he was getting to the commitment line. And um, yeah, it looks like Carroll ended up with a black flag because of that. I'm very unfortunate for this nine. I think the guys who just came out actually took four tires, so they're going with the strategy to end yep. this thing off, get that track position. They all lost a ton of positions. Now, I think if I'm the one of God Power and the 11 of Ingalls, Pete, I'm just cruising, I'm relaxing. There's about three laps to go before this stage is over and we start that final. Yep, I've been uh, been on the one of God Power with the 11 of Ingalls right behind him, very, very close uh close quarters for for these two they're coming up on the six a heated snowman uh let's see on carol's stream it's saying that the 20 of uh, cgmx rose is actually the leader so i'm going to go ahead and try to find him he is right in front of the 22 of jaypaw jaypaw is going to try to duck down underneath him going into the corner that was not for the lead though that actually just got the 20 uh i'm sorry the 22 20 got a gas. Lead. he's coasting He's coasting to the line, and he's going to pick up the stage win there by a hair. By a, yeah, by a, a definite hair, because you saw the 37 of Pro Viper come up fast and completely railed the 20 as, as he coasted across the start-finish line. Woo, that was close. Oh, three stages in the books, HD. And I tell you what. They've been getting after it all race. I don't expect anything less. 52 laps make up stage four. So they broke them up just a little bit. Stage, you know, the stage three, and when there's only three stages, it's always the longest. Uh, yeah, so we're 52 laps to go. And, and let's see as, H, as uh, Carol's getting up. CGMX Rose, Rowdy Mountain, Snowman. Aviator, Boehner, Stay Finesse, the Goose, Dan the Lawman, and a more smoke was your top ten right there. Woo! Oh, I don't know about you, HD. I'm working up a sweat here. Ah, just a little bit. <laughs> oh, all right, let's uh, rack them and stack them again. Back under the yep. Charlotte lights. And the two-car of Stout Whiskey going to be a race leader on the inside, on the outside of him. Actually, two-car Stout Whiskey pulling off the track. I'm going to go ahead and assume that that was a boo-boo. Forgot the pit. He might be just DNFing. So your race leader actually is going to be that 20-car uh, C. Jim X Rose, followed by that 22-car uh, J. Paul. Six, the Heat of Snowman running in P3. And there's a battle for fourth place with the 48 of the Aviator on the inside of the Rowdy. Yeah, Rowdy the outside. You got 36 of Boehner. Then you got the uh, 38, I believe that was. I'm not sure on that high line. Whoever it was, though, just made a made big contact. The outside wall of 20 is going to be able to stay in front of the 22. And 6 to 48. Looks like Boehner's got washed back or pushed back one spot. He's just now in front of the... Uh, nope, he's... Man, these guys are losing spots. Whoever that was made contact with the wall. Kind of spread him out just a little bit. Yeah, we're all single filed, actually. It looks like 14 cars deep, but it's not going to stay that way for long. But sitting there in P4 and 5, your best guess that may be the best two cars out on a track tonight. The 48 Aviator and the 13 of Rowdy, but Rose actually starting to separate his lead just a bit on J. Paul. He's got about a car length and a half. Yeah, he's starting to, uh, like you said, get a little bit of separation. I'm kind of working my way through the field here. Going to get back to about the fifth place car with Rowdy. Going to look uh, look ahead from him. You got the 48 of the Aviator right behind him. You got the 36 machine of Boehner. Behind Boehner, it looks like that's going to be the 34 of Stay Finest. And actually, you know what? We, with the 48 right in front of him, the 36 right behind him, I'm going to get on this uh, this the hood of this uh, this 13 machine as he goes through three and four. Once he gets to the start finish line, I'm going to kind of let y'all have this for a second. We're going to go through a little bit of a crank it up with the, the sounds around him. You should be able to get quite a bit. Turn up that volume.
Well, there you go. That lap around Charlotte Motor Speedway with the one and only NNR Rowdy keeping close tabs on this uh, on this six car of heated snowman as the 20 of CGMX Rose continues to stretch out his lead during that uh, crank it up session. You saw the 48 of the Aviator kind of slap the wall just a little bit, lost a couple positions right along with the 22 of j -Paw. And now the 13's got his sights set on that six. He's going to work down the low line, coming through the trial. will put Rowdy to P2. Yeah, Rowdy at the P2 after the six car. A heated snowman got tight through turns three and four. Almost tapped the wall there. Had to get out of the gas. That allowed 13 of Rowdy. They get a huge run off of turn four down a front stretch. They clear him before they got the turn one. So move Rowdy to 13 up the P2. Now he's got his sights on that 20 car of C, GMX Rose, but he's got a lot of ground to make up. Yeah, a lot of ground to make up. Rose is completely pulling away. He did the, or he tried to do this earlier, but he wasn't able to, to complete it off because the, the draft uh, effect it was was so strong. The, the top five, top six were all staying within you know, half a car length of each other. Now there's a little bit of distance. Uh, we'll have to see what the uh, what the 20 of CDMX Rose got under the hood. I think we know what he got. I mean, the kid only qualifies on pole position every single race. We know he's fast. We know he's fast. Where he tends to struggle a little bit is the strategy game. So does he have the strategy to keep that race distance? Also, little thing to note, that 13 and the 34... Uh, Stay Finesse, I think they're going to work together. I think Stay Finesse sees the gap between him and the win. Six to heat it, I think, is kind of content with riding. These guys should possibly catch CJ Max Rose before this thing is all said and done. Yeah, CJ Max Rose is definitely getting uh, reeled in. Uh, the 13 of Rowdy, like you said, has got a big and a very good pusher back here in the 34 is Stay Finesse. As you said, the six of Heated Snowman saying, all right, you guys go ahead and lead. I'll I'll follow. I'll be there at the end. And you know, I tell you what, HD, talking about, you know, CJ Max Rose maybe being a little off in, his stat, in the strategy race. I'm going to suggest right now while you're sitting there um, that if CGMX Rose is drafted into the second season of the Pro League, I think you should uh, go ahead and take over that, that crew chief role. Help the young gun through that season. Again, if he's drafted, and I have no doubt he will be, he's got like a, a, a 4.2 average finish through the first three races as they head to Daytona this week. I think you should pick up the crew chief roles for him. I think I'll give him a swirly. <laughs> God, help the kid out. <laughs> yeah, he can get hooked on phonics. Actually, as they come down to front Caution. stretch, he cautions out, yeah. Yep. Oh, so, what, our, our second non-stage caution of the race in 100 and, what, 60 laps? You can't beat that. Come on. Um, but, yeah, cautions out again. Uh, you got the 20 CGMX Rose, 13 of Rowdy. 34 is Stay Finesse, the 6 of Heated Snowman behind the Heated. As you can see, it's too oh, far back. Can't connection. quite tell who it was. Huh? I lost, I lost connection. Okay, not a problem. I'll get you in there. You know it would be terrible? <laughs> What's that? Don't back out. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, let's see. Invite to game. There we go. All right. Yep, you should have it. And it looks like the 20th CGMX Row is going to lead him to green with the six of heated snowman on the outside 13 of rowdy 34 of stay finesse the 11 of ingalls and the 36 of Peter are going to be your top uh six as the 20 leads them into turns one and two they should be able to be on the floor on the mat coming through turns one and two no no reason to to lift whatsoever the 13 is going to have a big push from the 48 as they go through three and four 20's going to dive down to that low line, keep the, the 13 at bay. Six-car heated snowman's going to lose a couple of uh, positions in this exchange as they come across the start-finish line. First lap back under green. Yeah, and as they get back into the race, it should be about 32 laps to go before that checkered flag is flying in the air. So, Pete, that's basically one more green flag pit stop i think they kind of split it they go 17 laps they go 17 laps you call the day and you see where you finish that's gonna be my call as the top four run single file 
Yeah, top four single file. And I, th I think you're 100% right. Uh, you know, 17 and 17, split it right down the middle. You have uh, the, the, you know, the best of the tire wear. You have no issue with fuel. In fact, if you wanted to, you might even be able to keep that car kind of light and maybe only take a uh, half tank. You shouldn't need a full two gallons or two cans. Um, if you're if you're pitting after just 17 laps but then again three times where it's not like the rest of the the series that run just just two so that could that could play into it as well these guys do more fuel i think you definitely take four tires without a question if you're splitting a half around 15 to 17 laps to make it to the end of the race four tires is a must if you take two you just might as well throw out your top 20 might as well because you're going to finish dead last if you do that as if the battle is actually starting to brew up here. I think Rowdy may be starting to get a little bit of patience because that four car breakaway actually turned quickly to a three. You said possibly the three the best find themselves up here running one, two, three here at Charlotte Motor Speedway for the Coke 600. Yep, CGMX Rose, NNR Rowdy, the Aviator, 34 Bain, or about 34 State Finesse, kind of lurking back there. He was able to get by the six car of Heated Snowman behind him. You've got the double O of Augustus and then the 36 of Boehner. So your top five, top six, even though they've been changing every now and then, pretty consistent uh, top five uh, drivers still right up front. Yeah, and honestly, if I'm these three, see, I'm more of a look at the bigger picture thing, right? I know Rowdy wants to win. I know Aviator wants to win. I know Rose wants to win. But what is the bigger picture? Bigger picture is honestly getting a good finish, getting a top three finish because that's the way you are running right now with about 28 laps to go before this thing is all said and done. I think these guys need to put their differences aside and they need to work together they need to stretch as much time as they can on fourth place to guarantee a podium finish and be able to talk to us up here in the booth after it's all said and done yeah i think with uh, everything that's gone on these guys are going to be whooped at the end of the race normally with just a three-stage race these guys are saying how sweaty they were getting and how you know they're <coughs> excuse me their uh, shoulders were shaking and now they're tensed up and whatnot imagine four stages um, you know, and it, 300, man, it's, uh, or 200 laps, 300 miles. It, it, it's a long race, HD. Still quite a bit left to go. I'll actually go ahead and get us a lap count right now off of the stream of a more, or of a rowdy, or, should, oh my God, should be around Should be around 27 to 29 laps to go in the race, if I'm not mistaken. Now, looking at the gap between this top three and that second pack, second pack is actually catching up and catching up to the Aviator very quick because I think he tapped the outside wall coming out of turn four because that gap between him and Rowdy is there about two to three car lengths. Yep, second get part gap, excuse me, second pack is there, pack of four. Leading that's going to be the 34 of Stay Finesse. So that party of three just grew to a party of eight. Yep. CGMX Rose, party of eight. The table is ready. I, I tell you. Uh, yep, 29 laps to go. So we're under 30. These guys should be uh, splitting it here pretty soon. A little bit of lag in the room, it looks like, unless it's just the stream. Definitely could be. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that, that, that string of cars has definitely grown to 34 of Stay Finesse pulling this pack back up to the 48 of the Aviator. Aviator's going to try to duck down underneath the 13, but not quite able to get the throttle down completely. Again, three and four completely known as the tightest of the of the corners here at Charlotte Motor Speedway. So we'll have to save that pass, maybe save the tires for another attempt. First through uh, third or fourth, still the same. And really, that... that he Three and four is definitely the easiest part of the track to pass. It's wider. It's a little bit more, especially going into it in turn three. Now, it gets pretty tight off of turn four, but going into it is where you can make the pass, coming down a back stretch, getting up underneath somebody. But it all starts in turn one and the run you can develop off of turn two to be able to get that run. And we're seeing it right here. Rowdy closing up close to the 20s cars bumper. Rowdy now sees the other pack is now here. I think Rowdy is thinking about possibly going down into turn three. Going to stay in line as the 35 of Dan DeLawman going to pick up a spot on Banner. 
Ooh, I tell you what, the 48, the Aviator gave the 13 a big shot right there. And it actually, uh, that contact pushed the 48 below the white line and uh, threw him off a little bit, threw off the uh, the 40, uh, the uh, 34 of Stay Finesse. The 6 had to check up, so he's got about a car length now between himself and the 34. Here comes the 35 of Dan the Lawn Man, the 36 of Boehner. Still long string of cars. Your leader could be in this front pack even after stage uh, the uh, green flag pit stops are done. Carroll's doing something very. I'm trying to figure out what that nine car is doing because he's going wicked, wicked slow. I don't think you can make it green from where you pitted it last time. I don't. I don't know exactly what strategies he's thinking right now or what he's seeing that we are not. But he might be trying something and he may come out victorious of this thing if we're not paying attention to what he's doing but so far top seven staying in line not moving an inch they got a little bit of separation as the six the heat of snowman getting wicked loose at a turn four all the way down the front stretch able to hold it together yeah the six definitely uh cut a cut a bit of that grass and uh Made the uh, made the 36 and the 35 really check up. The only one that made it through that uh, that little incident right there was the 34 of Stay Finest. He's gonna pick up that P4 or keep that P4 spot, I should say. But the uh, 35 and 36 of Boehner and Dan the Lawman are still back there, not not completely out of it, but not quite where they were, where they had the the, uh, the draft of the 34 and the other top three. Yeah, and Rowdy behind, TJ Max Rose is actually going to tap that apron. Coming out of turn two is going to create that gap. About two car lengths as they come down into turn three. They're going to go side by side there for P3. I don't think it's by design. I think Rowdy checking up kind of caused that situation behind him. But that's going to be the 34 stay finesse down low on the inside of the aviator. Yeah, I'm really kind of curious that or, – or surprised i should say that the uh, the, the uh, 34 wasn't co able to complete that pass going through one and two as it looks like the 20 of cgmx rose just signaled that he is going to be going into the pits this time so the 48 34 really have to check up hopefully the 34 saw him 48 hard of the outside wall i think the 48 just popped the right front hd i don't know what happened if he popped the right front i don't know but he's still actually against the wall Riding that bad boy all the way around. I think his race for the win is over for that 48 car. What a shame because he definitely had a good one tonight. So if you're the 13 of Rowdy, you're the 34 of Stay Finesse and the whole group outside of the Aviator. I think you see him rose down, come down right now. Unless you are on E, I think you still shoot for that. You might, you might kind of extend it a little bit. You might try 19 to 20 laps now, not necessarily 17, but I still think you try and split it as much as you can. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'd be really curious to see if the 13 or the 34. Uh, 13 is down. Yep, down, uh, down pit road, down. yeah. Uh, curious to see if either of these two uh, end up with a speeding penalty. They ended up side-by-side, side door, you know, door to door a little bit of contact uh between the two as they came across the start or the uh the the pit entry line and they weren't done racing they raced all the way to the line uh 34 is out he's not going to have any kind of a penalty and 13 neither he's right in front of him these two are coming off nose to tail back on the track all gonna follow the apron all the way through one and two they'll merge on a back stretch and i think these two will be your leaders once when it's all said and done yeah, because there goes that 20 car. CJMX Rose now. Browdy should be able to possibly still stay in his draft. If we can get a lap count, it's got to be getting close to under 20 to go. If not already, about under 20 to go here for the Coca-Cola 300. Brought to you by NNR with HD and repeat up here in the booth. <coughs> yeah, HD, I'm... I'm Man, I'm glad to be with you every week. We have a lot of fun. Tonight has not uh, disappointed whatsoever. Uh, I'd like to say that Carroll was running some kind of a strategy, wonder, wondering why he was uh, so slow. Carroll's actually showing like four laps down, so he has had a lot of issues tonight. Uh, fees four laps down. I'm saying there's 16 to go. Uh, he crossed with 20? Uh, he's showing... 
182 of 200. So, uh, well, let's uh, so let, let me let me try 18. to see if I can, yeah let me see if I can actually find the stream of uh, stream of Boehner here uh, because that just doesn't sound right and we know Boehner has been strong and up front all night long. Uh, let's see. There we go. All right, so Boehner's coming off three and four right now, right behind the six of Heated Snowman. And there is 13. Ah, that screen's too small. No, give me something. There we go. All right, so uh, I'll actually catch back up with the uh, with the 36. Uh, I'm not quite sure who that Pete, was right there. Get them bot focus on, man. Get them bot yeah, focus I know. on. I know, I know, I know, I uh, know. They are at, okay, so they got 12 to go, HD. There we go. All right, so there we go. 12 to go here for the Coca-Cola 300 with that 20 car. CGMX Rose out to the race lead. He's got about a 10 car length lead. Running in pit area two and three to 13 are rowdy in a 34. A stay finesse. Now, Pete, if you're these guys, you are definitely running nose to tail, trying to catch that 20 car as fast as you can. I think they will before it's all said and done. Yeah, I have no doubt, especially, you know, uh, pushing each other around it's going to be uh, it's going to be a great race great finish for these guys if they're able to catch that 20 the 20 by uh, virtue of pitting a lap or two early got that extra time on track and that could be all it takes but at the same token his tires are going to wear before theirs do even though they're running a faster uh, pace uh, you know running you know nose to tail in, in a little bit of a draft I'll catch back up to the uh, 13 of Rowdy right now, and we'll follow uh, him and the, uh, the the 34 as they continue to try to run that uh, that 20 car down. Yeah, well, they got 10 laps to do it. They're staying nose to town now. Between these guys, looks like it's going to be the 35 of Dan the Lawman running in p4 so that's a pretty good run for him 36 of Boehner running in p5 34 giving him a bump this thing is down to about eight car lengths crossing the line with nine to go here tonight yep 20s of cgmx rose crossed the line uh with the uh, 13 of rowdy and the 34 of, of stafen s really working well together through all corners able to stay nose to tail keep uh, keeping up the draft keeping up the push 20 of CGMX Rose running all by himself. He's really got to hope that these guys can, you know, stay behind. You know, again, catching uh, the 20 of CGMX Rose is going to be a whole lot easier than than passing him. Uh, we've seen Rose make that car really, really wide when he's had to. We'll we'll have to see how this pans out. But like you said, uh, less than 10 laps to go. It's going to be. Uh, I think it's going to be a great finish. Or we could just be talking to these three as they run in uh, post race interviews. Yeah, they're definitely closing the gap just a bit. It's down to about seven car lengths. Now back there for P4. We're going to move that 36 of Boehner up there. Drop the 35 of Dan DeLawman off back the P5. I think they're going to run as they are because there's huge gaps between them. Now up towards the front, though, with seven to go. Laps winding down here for the Coca-Cola 300. These guys are still running nose to tail trying to catch the young gun yeah i don't i don't think it's uh i don't think it's gonna happen i mean they're they're trying all they can i've seen the 13 of rowdy get a little loose as he dives down into the corner i think he's throwing that car in so hard that it's actually breaking free breaking a little bit of traction um but he's, he's pretty smooth in one and two but he's got to be able to make up time on the thing all the way around the track not just at one end of it 34 again, giving the 13 a think, big shove. A little bit made up a little bit of time on the back stretch, but I, think, I don't. I, I think he gets there. I think once he gets in the 20 cars draft within the next lap, I'm going to say that is going to pull him that much closer, that much faster. I think it's going to be five to go at the line. If you could verify, that would be excellent because here comes Rowdy, five back from Rose. Now, HD. You remember how the, uh, the how the all-star race ended. The 13 of, uh, of Rowdy made a last lap pass under the 20 of CGMX Rose. CGMX Rose ended up running out of gas. I don't think he's going to run out of gas, but it'll be interesting to see if the 13 is able to make that same pass on him again, going through three and four on the last lap. We'll have to stay tuned to catch him. 
Yeah, I think there's going to be four to go. They're definitely getting closer. This gap is now down to four. Carl H. as Rowdy is definitely in the draft of the young gun. CGMX Rose Rowdy starting to separate himself just a bit from third place. So I think it's going to be a battle between a 13 and a 20. He's three Carl Links back now, Pete. Yep, you are absolutely dead on with the amount of laps. They're coming to three to go now. 13 definitely has the draft of the 20. The 34 still has the draft of the 13, but it is fading. 13 is all over the back of the of the 20 now. Not too not too far back. He should be able to. Oh man, he's going to have a shot at this win. I want to see the, the you know the 20 CJ Metros notch the win after losing it the way that he did in the All Star race. But man, these guys always put on a show. There was no love lost between these two, but yet you put them on Call of Duty, and they are the best of friends. On the track, they are the worst of enemies. Yeah, two to go at the line that time by Rowdy is there. He's a car length away as they come down the back stretch. I think Rowdy's going to wait to the last lap before it's all said and done. He is there now. He's ready to tango. It's going to be a wild one here for the Coca-Cola 300 brought to you by NNR. Yeah, uh, last couple laps. I'm on the hood view now of the 13 of Rowdy. He is all over the 2020. He's a little bit worried. Go side to side, a little bit of contact there from Rowdy's 13. Gonna 13's going to move him. Yeah, Rowdy bumped him up the track. Rowdy to the race lead. White flag in the air this time by. Down the backstretch in the turn number three. CGMX Rose is going to dive it down in there. Bump him up into the water. Here goes the 34 to stay for Nest. Side by side down the front stretch. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man, I, it's going to be stay finessed at the line with CGMX Rose P2. Oh, my, I couldn't get through the camera fast enough. <laughs> I couldn't either. I couldn't switch to anybody. God oh, damn, this game. Oh, man, what we a great an finish. an epic finish. Oh, yeah. my God, this game. Oh, the, oh. the Rowdy moved the 22 early. The 20 repaid the favor, and stay finessed was able to capitalize on the contact. Whoa. God damn this game and a goddamn flip through everybody. <laughs> I couldn't get to the 34 to the 20. I couldn't either. So your top 10 is going to be Stay Finesse, CGMX Rose, and Boehner running out the, the top three. Rowdy back to P4. Dan the Lawn, man, great top five finish. A more smoke bringing his home in P6. Augustus in seventh. Heated Snowman, NNR Smitty, and NNR Mountain. Great finish for Mountain tonight. Great race overall by everybody. Yes, I mean, was. the amount of lead changes tonight here for the Charlotte oh. Coca-Cola 300 brought to you by NNR is through the roof. I said it earlier. It's like Oprah up here. You lead a lap. You lead a lap. You lead a lap. <laughs> well, before it was all said and done, that 34 of Stay Finesse led the one that mattered the most to pick up the win. Yeah, he's able to get that done. And, you know, while we're – uh kind of waiting on everybody to get to the booth yeah bill's legend i couldn't uh stay finessed by hd this is why we couldn't get there fast enough fin stay finessed won that race by 0 0.006 we're talking thousands of a second hd amazing finish great job uh finessed oh let's see lucky dog checking and saying that was a crazy finish great commentary and racing Country Striker saying uh, used as a wall. Not quite sure what that means. Jose saying, man, this race is long. Uh, man, uh, Bill's Legend again saying insane. Man, Whew. Oh, hey, HD, so I'm out of breath. This thing underway here. Who got third, Boehner? Uh, yeah, Boehner got third. We'll go ahead and take him. I want to pull up some quick information here on Stay Finest. All right, Painter HD, you got a copy. <laughs> Over and out, man. How about well, that? That was uh, unreal. <laughs> it, it definitely was unreal. I know you wish you could have been up there battling for the race lead with them guys battling it out, though. You were able to squeak out a top three finish. How you feeling? Uh, I feel great, except for my 16-second pit stop. You know, that last one pretty much doomed me there. But, uh... 
I knew they were going to get to him. Uh, and so I just had the best seat in the house watching it. I mean, that was, that was so much fun. I mean, I feel like, uh, I definitely had a top five car all night. Uh, just really terrible pit stops. It was like 16, 16, two, 15, nine. Uh, and, uh, you know, once you kind of lose the draft with the leaders, it's, you know, tough to reel them in until they get to racing. So, uh, but overall, uh, great night. Congrats to Finesse. I mean, holy shit. That was, uh, holy crap. That was, uh, <laughs> that was, that was, that was, <laughs> that was just a blast to watch. And, uh, I don't know. I wasn't quite close enough to see what happened in turn one with Rowdy and Rose, but I think I could guess and probably be right. And it looked like Rose maybe uh, repaid the favor and finesse was in the uh, catbird seat there. And uh, no letting off at that point. Just uh, really cool. All right, man. So congratulations. He definitely been running amazing these last few races. So keep it up. I'd like to throw any shout outs. Yeah. To finesse. Congratulations. Uh, you know, Rose, Great race, uh, good race with Rowdy. I felt like all of us who were kind of up there, uh, for the most part, showed a lot of respect. I know that uh, it was fun. It's frustrating when you're all stuck in the draft and uh, just trying to bite each other's time and make moves when it's clear and obvious. And But fun racing up front. That's why this is the best league. I mean, preset league, hands down. I mean, that, that was incredible. Um, my breath is gone still just from watching that. <laughs> All right, man, definitely a good run. Uh, you want me to take second and you take the winner? Man, I tell you, you do whatever you want to do. I am so hyped up about this. Boehner, just to answer your question about the the, the win there, point zero zero six six. I, I, I said the other D word earlier. Now I'm saying sex. <laughs> well, I, I tell you, uh, <laughs> point zero zero six over uh, over the 20th CGMX rows. Probably, if, if there is a record out there, I don't know if Koei kept it or if there's a way to go back and ever look. Point zero zero six of a second uh, was the was the margin of victory. Amazing. Um, I'll, I'll I'll go ahead and I'll I'll grab P two and then you can grab our first time uh, Cup Series winner HD. All right, go ahead, uh, man. All right, let me actually get over to this here. All right, Rose, you got me, bud. Yep. Actually, you know what? No, you're you're HDs. Yeah, go right ahead, HD. I I know you couldn't <laughs> wait for this guy. <laughs> I've been waiting for this guy. Yes, I have been. You know, Pete actually mentioned something saying like, I should like be your crew chief through the pro league. I told him I'd give you a swirly. But hey, nah, man. What a what a race for you tonight. You know, you kind of led a lot of laps early on. You fell back. About second to third stage, battled all the way back, and to have it end like that. What are you feeling? Uh, I just feel a little bad for Poop. I didn't mean to, to slam him into the wall, but I just wanted to nudge him after what after he moved me out the way and won. Because I, I knew Finesse and Poop were going to catch me because the draft is just overpowered. But uh, and then come to the line, I just kind of tried hitting Finesse a little bit to slow his momentum down, but it didn't work enough. Yeah, man. So looking back through it, is there anything you wish you'd have done a little bit different? Maybe stayed lower through turns one and two to not really allow poop to bump you up the track? Mm, the only regret I have is hitting the apron on that last run, which cost me about cost me about two tenths, which would have made all the difference out there. And there, <laughs> he wouldn't have been able to do that. But apart from that, I don't think I could have done anything different. All right, man. It's definitely a good run for you tonight. How are you feeling, though, man? I feel like I feel like you're leading a lot of these races, but you always seem to come up just short. You're always qualifying on pole. No one knows what the hell you're doing in qualifying, but you always get the pole position. But you're just coming up short. I mean, is it is it wear and tearing on you? Uh, a little bit. Sucks to always lead a lot of laps and then just come up a little bit short, but we'll start racking them off here in, in a little bit. All right, man. There you go. Like the like the enthusiasm and like the the thought going forward, the turnaround attitude. Like to throw any shout outs before I let you go. Uh, Koei, you guys, Poop. He was probably the cleanest guy out there, in my opinion. Even though he bumped me there at the end, that's just going for the win. I don't really hate him for that. That's just what you got to do. All right, man. You know, Pete, you know when people are veterans of the booth when they think us. 
<laughs> yep. Hey, I'm not on the same team yet. Hey. Yeah, you're Rose, a veteran of the booth, man. You've been here enough. Yeah. Oh yeah. Rose, quick, quick question for you though. Before I go on to uh, finesse, do you think uh, Rowdy uh, gave you that nudge a little too early as to where you were able to get back back to him uh, going through one and two on that last lap? Yeah, I expected him to do it in three and four. Uh, I don't know why he did it in one and two. That was kind of weird, in my opinion. Man, it, it, I tell you what, it was a great race all the way around. You're gonna make up some uh, some more points on uh, on on a more great race, man. Congrats on the P2. Thank you, Mister Stay Finesse. You got me, bud. What's going on, guys? Man, first time winner NNR Cup Series. Congratulations. <laughs> Yeah, you know, here we are. Here you are. Man, I'll tell you what, Boehner made this whole video earlier about, like, the top 30 of all the guys that are going through the pro league. Uh, you were on that um, – uh, you were on that list. So was Stout. So was Amore, uh, you know, CGMX Rose and, and several, you know, Rowdy and several others that are in NNR. Has the, the the practice that you've put in here helped you at all in your, your preparations for your, uh, your pro, uh, quest? Uh, well, one thing this time around with doing the pro league thing, I definitely learned a lot about the way you drive the car in this game especially helps a lot, which I've, like, I had a hard time grasping, but I think I finally figured it out. Um, we we followed you, and the the it was pretty much you, the thirteen, the um the the, the twenty, the the, the uh thirty uh yeah thirty nine of Boehner, and and a few others all race long. It seems like it, what if you weren't in the top five, you were like top seven all race long. You definitely had a car capable of winning. Did you think that the 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 uh, the twenty and the the um, um, the uh, thirteen were going to get together on that last lap, and you were actually going to be able to take advantage of it and come home with the win. Yep, that that was exactly my plan. Actually, <laughs> I kept it up front the whole time till that last caution came out, and uh, was riding behind Rowdy, and uh, he actually lag bumped me and gave me front damage, so I got pretty tight there at the end. I didn't know if I was going to be able to make a move. But I knew he was going to die bomb Rose, so I was pretty much just waiting on it. And my opportunity came through, and, and yeah, it was a great finish. Heads off to Rose. Absolutely a great finish. And I know we don't have records for it, but I would I, – I would – I probably just go on record and say 0. .006 of a second is probably the closest victory ever in NNR history. So congratulations on this win. It's going to lock you into the uh, into the chase, um, which starts off I think here in like eight weeks as we we get ready to go to Michigan next week. Any any shout outs from me, sir? Uh, just. Shout out, shout out to Rose. I hate to see him lose another one with all the dominant performance. Uh, Boehner, Mountain, NNR, Coey, anybody who puts this out together, you repeat for being here each week doing it. Well, I, I, I can't do it without my buddy HD here, uh, especially on these. Yeah, these HD. Thursday I didn't nights. mean to leave yeah. him out. <laughs> especially on these Thursday nights. HD, you have anything for our first time winner? Ah, uh, no, man. It's congratulations. Anyway. Not nah, congratulations on your first win here in the Cup Thank Series. You. It's it's hard to hard to come by up here in these next craziest of the race I've been a part of. It, it was the crazy race to call. I tell you that was a lot of lead changes. It was epic up here. I had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Absolutely, Coey. You have anything for a first time winner in the Cup? Uh just congratulations on on a on a victory. Uh, it sounds like uh, there was some uh, last minute changes up there. I was hearing from Rowdy and. Uh, I guess someone got taken out up front there. Uh, well, kind of, yeah. Uh, going through one and two, Rowdy got a little under the 20. Didn't push him all, all up high. It was just a really simple bump and run. Rowdy got under him, going down three and four. Uh, Rose ducked behind the 13. Um, same thing, a little bit of con there, and Finesse was able to, to uh, come away with the win after they – got a little together but it wasn't anything malicious it was just hard racing between the two rose even said in his post-race interview he he apologized for getting into rowdy so um it was all just really really hard racing um 
it was overall a great night. It's going to be a great uh, race to go back and, and watch. All kinds of highlight uh, clips that can be made of it. Great, uh, man, great whole week of racing, starting with the All-Star race on Saturday night. So, again, uh, Rowdy's able to get it done in the All-Star race. Asbel got it done in the truck race. Uh, FNL Bowling got it done in the Xfinity race. And tonight, it's our first time a Cup winner in, um, in Stay Finest. So, we're going to be moving on to Michigan next week. I do want to give a big uh, shout out real quick to Sully uh, Sully Van Silva, Dirt Dirt Bike Dusty 15, and Whiskey Ginger 55 for the follows during the stream. Hopefully you'll, you'll hit those uh, hit those notifications and you'll be here every week. As you told, as you can see tonight, we interact with everybody all race long. Oh man, HD. I'm ready for next week already. It's been a great week so far. I'm I'm definitely ready for next week, but I want to tell oh, your wife. Look out. I'll tell you that. I, I want I want to tell your wife, man. Look out, because there's something that's snow in Charlotte tonight. And I think I think she needs to look out for you. Repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Throw her out in the driveway, make some angels. There we go. One angel yeah, that, snow to make another, right? <laughs> there you go, right there, man. <laughs> now I'm definitely excited next week for uh, Michigan. It's gonna be an exciting race. It's gonna be a lot of side by side action, and I don't know who in the world I'm gonna pick for that one. There's gonna be a lot of action next week because uh, there's there's a lot of officials down in the pits right now, and it's it's pretty hectic. So you guys maybe stay tuned for some interesting racing next week. <laughs> yeah, and uh, real quick, Mountaineer in chat ecstatic about his first top 10 in NNR. Congratulations, Mountaineer. I'm not going to let that go without uh, about, you know, without that quick shout out. But as for me, guys, Congrats, yeah, it's, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a great week coming up from uh, from Michigan International Speedway. If you thought the draft was crazy here at Charlotte, wait till you get to next week. The trucks are going to kick off right around nine o'clock on Sunday night. Be there, be square, don't be late. I promise, hopefully I won't have any snow in my backyard. Uh, but for now, good luck in the uh, day qualifiers for any of you Pro League uh, Season 2 hopefuls. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all around the track. Later.